Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna and today we'll be talking about my March TV art. Let's get going. So I actually chose my TV art in a different way. I think that video will be after this video or something like that depending who's gonna come first. But it was actually a fun video to do so I, I think I'm gonna do that more often. So yeah, I think my TV is actually a bit ambitious but we will see how it goes, so let's get going. So the book I have chosen for this TV art is 12 Enough for Fallen by Carrie Maniscalco. So basically we have Stella, Villa, and Wicked. The Prince of Envy has never claimed to be a saint, but when a cryptic note arrives signaling the beginning of a deadly game, he knows there will take more than a hint of sin to win and save his falling demon court. Riddles, hexed, objects, anonymous players. Nothing will stand in his way, though none for his me meticulous plans prepare him for her. The frustrating artist who ignites his sin like no other. So I'm excited to finally start this book. I probably should have read this for Halloween, but that is okay. So I'm still excited to read this. So yeah. My next book is Wish The Wistress by Nadine Brandes. She didn't ask to be the mistress. Mother was born with the ability to turn her tears into wishes, but when a granted wish goes wrong, she is cursed. The next tear she sheds will kill her. She must travel to the well to break the curse before it can claim her life, and before the king's Italian find her. To survive the journey, Muth must, find, must harden her heart to keep herself from crying, even a single tear. He can stop time with a snap of his fingers. Bastion's powerful and real talent came in handy when he kidnapped the old king. Now the new king has a job for him. Find a mistress and deliver her to the Shalas. But Bastion needs a wish of his own. He gains Muth's trust by promising to take her to the well. But once he gets what he needs, he will turn her in. As long as his growing feelings grew for the girl with a stone heart, don't compromise him. That sounds really, really nice. I have not read anything like it, so it'll be really, really interesting. My next book probably took, probably took like two years just for me to actually read it. That is The Ace of Spades by Faradia a Big Emidi. All you need to know is, I'm here to divine a conquer like great titans do. When two diverse private academy students, the Violet Lichards and Shamanka Annabelle, are selected to be part of the elite school's senior preface, prefects, it looks like their year is off to an amazing start. After all, not only does it look great on college applications, but officially puts them in the running for Mount Victorian too. Shortly after the announcement is made, though someone who goes by Aces begins sending anonymous texts, messages to reveal secrets about the two of them that the turn their lives upside down and for an every aspect of their carefully planned futures. As Ace shows no sign of stopping, what seemed like a sick prank quickly turns into a dangerous game, with all the cards stacked against them. Can Devon and Shiamanka stop Aces before things become quickly before things become incredibly deadly? We're gonna find out. My next book is Rise of the Vicious Princess by C.J. Redwine. Princess Cherry's Willowthorn is the beautiful sword of Kalia, raised to be ruthless and cunning. Her only goal is to hold her war-torn kingdom together long enough to find a path to one peace with the ancient foe, but to Valo, even if the cost is a whole art. When violence erupts in the castle itself, nearly killing the queen, Cherry's must assume her mother's duties and manage both the war and her kingdom. But as an unseen enemy begins shaking, sinking Calavia's ships, Chavez realizes a threat much greater than Montevallo is coming for her people. So she forms a plan. By day, she is Calavia's formidable princess intent on forging an alliance with Montevallo. By night, she disguises herself as a smuggler and warms the sea with a trusted group of loyalists, hunting for their new enemies. And through it all, there's the one boy she can't have who guards her life pursues her heart. But her enemies are much closer than Cherish realizes, and her heart isn't the only thing she has left to lose. That sounds fantastic. And my final one is The Reading List by Sarah Nisha Adams. 
Manuel Mukesh lives a quiet life in West London when he shops every Wednesday, goes to temple, and worries about his granddaughter Priya, who hides in her room all day reading. Alicia is a bright but anxious teenager working at the local library when she discovers a forgotten slip of paper in the back of To Kill a Mockingbird. It contains a list of novels she's never heard of before. Intrigued as she decides to read every book on the list, as each story gives up its magic, the books transfer Alicia away from the painful realities she's facing at home. When Mukesh arrives at the library desperate to forge a connection with his bookworm granddaughter Alicia, wonders if the books might be a lifeline for him too. As the reading list begins to circulate in this community, new readers discover how fiction can eliminate so much about joy and sorrow in real life. Well, I'm really excited about this book. And this is my probably my most ambitious TV uh, ever. I have noticed that my books have been going downhill. So I'm excited to read again. So especially since I think I should be caught up with my author stuff. I just have to create my cover design for my new book. So I'm excited for that. Otherwise, I should be good. So that's exciting that I have more time to read. Yay! So I'm going to put this down now, guys. This guy is really heavy. So those are all the books that I'm going to read from March TV on. Of course, I will still be listening to audiobooks as well. And maybe, hopefully, I might read some more books. But I doubt it because Throne of the Fallen looks really, really big. But it depends if the chapters are short. So if the chapters are short, I might be able to read it quickly. But anyways, if you like this, let me know what is your March TV are for. And please like, comment, and subscribe so you can be notified every time I post. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye!